Hola Pescaditos, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Uh, if you're not a Pescadito and you want to become one, all you got to do is subscribe. So go ahead and uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be doing a little bit of fly fishing. But in order to achieve that, first we're going to have to jump in an Uber, then we're going to have to hop on a plane. Stay tuned. to make it in my hotel room. Um, I'm, I'm in Virginia now. I flew into to DC. Uh, it was actually it's a pretty long Uber ride to get uh, to my hotel. I think it was like over $100. But I'm uh, dropping my stuff off and heading straight back out while there's some light. I'm going to check out a state park that's nearby called Widewater State Park. It's on the Potomac River, I believe. I think it might actually be where, where another smaller river creek feeds into the Potomac. Uh, but uh, we're gonna check it out. Hopefully there'll be a spot that I can fish. Maybe we can wet a line and hopefully catch something. Let's find out. Well, I can tell you right now, one thing that's going to be a major problem for me is it is very windy right now. <laughs> like, it's probably 10 degrees cooler than I anticipated it being and very windy. Um, and I'm out here in Chacos and shorts, but the water looks calm right here. And there's a little bit of shoreline that looks like maybe I can, I can cast from. And I believe it, I could be wrong, but I'm 95% sure that this is actually the Potomac River. Um, so we're just going to start casting with a little, little woolly booger and see what we can find. First thing we got to do though is assemble our fly rod. What's that? Oh, shooting some video. Okay. Yeah. For yourself, or you post it on YouTube? Yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's for myself, but I do post it on YouTube. Oh. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not like anything uh, super serious. It's just, you know, fishing's a hobby of mine, and so is shooting some videos, so I just kind of do them together. For fly fishermen seeming to take themselves very seriously, you know, it's a very serious, very serious sport. Um, at least the way they seem to present themselves. They sure do have some whimsical names. Whimsical names for some, uh, for some flies. And you, you gotta love it. So what I'm doing is I'm just doing like a little strip, just stripping it along. It's gonna take me a second probably to figure out casting this thing. And... Oh my goodness, first cast and we got a fish? How about that? What is this? What if we managed to get on the little woolly booger? It's a little bass of some sort. Look at that. Choked that woolly booger. <laughs> For first cast, it was a horrible cast too. Looks like we got ourselves a little largey maybe. It's been a little bit since I've fly fished and on top of that I'm kind of kind of chucking some meat with this uh, with this woolly booger 
So I want to make sure that I am working on my casting a little bit. That little guy grabbed her like right there at the, right there at the edge. Wind really getting us. We'll just be catching little guys if we catch anything. Oh, that's that's actually decent size comparatively. Oh, it came off. Love to know what that was. Love to know what that was. A little bit of action to start us off and then we haven't seen anything else happen. I'm just waiting for like a really, really good bite. You know, part of what you're dealing with is this is just like a noodle of a noodle of a rod. So you put a heavier fly on it and it gets real whippy real quick. Another one. Had another one. Didn't get a good enough hook set. But we're in the, in the right ballpark, I guess. See that kind of wind ain't gonna fly. There we go. Ease it in. This is a better one. Let him play itself out. Don't let him break. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, let's see if I can, let's see if I can ease him in. Got him. <laughs> Look at that. Phenomenal. Well, it's not a huge fish, but it's definitely the biggest fish that I've caught on the fly rod. Uh, so that's pretty exciting. We're gonna go ahead and Get her back in the water, see if we can't get a couple more. There's a scar, man. This something tried to take a bite out of this thing. I wonder if you can see this. It's like the shape of a mouth. Anyways, let's see what else we can find. Something on a bite this thing. Oh yes, no, we broke off completely. Did I break off completely? Oh man, that was a good fish, I think. What a way to end the day. Hopefully I'll have some time to come back later this week and try again. I have to say I'm uh, fairly impressed with the, uh, with the park here at Widewater State Park in Virginia. Um, it's, uh, it's a little bit different than back home, different, different wildlife. Uh, there's, there's bald eagles all over the place and other, other large birds of prey. Um, but uh, it's it's been enjoyable. I'm actually taking a little bit of a little bit of a hike now uh, after finishing up doing some fishing. I, I don't know if I'm going to come back here necessarily since I'm in a different state. I kind of want to maybe explore some other areas. But hopefully I'll be doing a little bit more fishing while I'm up here this week. Uh, but so far, I mean, I can't complain. You know, you fly hundreds of miles away, come out here and first cast you hook into a fish. So um, you know that, that's hard to beat. But anyways, uh, this may as well be the end of, of this video at least, and uh, hopefully I can do some more filming and maybe get another one out while I'm in Virginia. But uh, thank you for tuning in and going with me on this little trip, and uh, hope to see you in the next video. Until then, this has been Caleb with Certified Dinks. We'll catch you on the next one.